driveway. Where we at in the driveway? Pouring encouraging words to remind the more God. Good morning, good morning. In the driveway, good morning. Hey. Good morning. It's time for In the Driveway. All right. Good morning, good morning, Camilla. Please share, share with uh, your Facebook friends and family. In the driveway on this beautiful Monday morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're in the driveway. Hey. Um, I'm so excited this morning um, about this opportunity to come before you. And just give an encouraging word to help you throughout the week. Because uh, God has amazing things in store. And uh, he doesn't want us to get sidetracked by our feelings, our surroundings, our past. But he wants us to focus on what we're doing now, keeping our future in mind. So I'll wait a couple more seconds for um, everybody to come on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are right here in the driveway with myself, Miss Panama City dated, born and raised. But now here in Montgomery, um, Ramonda Moore Brown. Amen. So I'm going to give just a minute. If you don't mind, please share. Good morning. Good morning. Yvonne Harris, Sonia Shivers. I love you, girl. You're looking gorgeous. Um, I have three biological sisters. And um, I just believe in sisterhood. I love my sisters. We've been through ups and downs and all kind of stuff as sisters do. But I love my family. Amen. Amen. So God gave me a big family. You, you, and you. I love you. Um, and I'm just excited about bonding sisterhood. So, good morning again. Uh, this morning as I was thinking like, Lord, what do you want me to say this morning to, to your women of God? Um, and as I was, somebody sent me a, a, a message this morning. And in that message, I saw something and the Lord said, don't spread yourself too thin. I'm like, okay. As women, we, as mothers, we're in the driveway. Now y'all know that the driveway came about. Let me back up just a moment. The driveway came about because, um, I found myself when I drop off my kids, um, I sit in the car and I think I oftentimes the Lord gives me a word for Facebook, you know, just a, place where your mind, you know, if you work, I know a, a friend of mine, she says, girl, I've been in this driveway. I'm trying to prepare my mind, um, to, to get ready to go in the house and deal with these children. And, you know, I thought about it. I said, um, God, the driveway can be a really sacred place. Now I know the super religious going to think, what is she talking about? But it's just a place that you can relax. It's just a place that you can get your mind together. And it's really a place that you can talk to and listen to God. I'm sorry, y'all. There's an ambulance bay that's not too far away. So we get that all the time. It doesn't even bother me no more. But, um, so, and I said, you know, the, the driveway can be sacred because honey, I sling some oil out here. Go sling some oil in your driveway. Sling some oil on your car. A place that you can talk to the Lord without being distracted. And I, and the other day I didn't, I looked, I was, I pulled up around 801. I, it was 8.46 before my daughter finally came out and said, Mama, what are you doing? I said, Girl, I'm in the driveway. Let me play it again for somebody. Just listen to that. In the driveway. The Lord can speak to you in the driveway. And I was sitting there, and he gave me this little intro. Me and my son worked on it. And it's just amazing what God can do right here in the driveway. In the driveway. I love the driveway. And God is telling us in this season... Please hear me when I say, and with all due respect, it's not about the pulpit anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. Please don't take that to the left. Everything was centered in the pulpit. Everything we did was in those four walls and people outside of the walls dying. People that were hurt in church and don't know how to deal with it didn't come back to the four walls. But we still need to reach those souls. So it's nothing against, because I told uh, a lady that the other day and she about freaked out. Oh, you're not going to church and you don't believe? No, no, no. I just know that God created me to do something outside of those four walls. 
Those four walls are amazing. That's where you get your training. But the work must go on outside of the four walls. So that's why God is telling us marketplace. God gave me in the driveway. So today, I just want to tell you, I wasn't planning to go there. But yes, it's about reaching souls. No matter where they are, no matter where you are. You don't have to be in a dress. You don't have to be in a suit. But ladies, come on now. I'm going to go here because it's been in my spirit. But we need to come cover up. Okay, just thought I'd draw, drop that little nugget to bless somebody. You don't have to be in a suit. You don't have to be in a long dress. You don't have to look like a million dollars all the time because you want to reach people right where they're at. You intimidate people sometimes when you go all blinged out and all dressed up in your church attire. Somebody needs to hear that. It's always about keeping your standard. It's always about walking in the word, but it's about reaching souls. Even the killer, even the murderer, even the child molester, yes, I'm talking, needs to be reached. Because as we know, it's something that happened to them and they're repeating a cycle and we want to reach their soul no matter what they've done. I'm sorry. <laughs> no matter what they've done. So here in the driveway this morning, the Lord wants to say, I'm going back. Don't spread yourself too thin, women. Tell somebody, no, you can't speak at their conference this time. Nothing against them, but you're going to find yourself wore out, beat up, and you're giving everything and you have nothing left to go on. And I'm going to take it a little further. You're out there blessing everybody else and you two drain the minister in your own house. Yes, this coming from in the driveway. So again, I love that God has just took me on this journey that didn't make no sense and i thank god for being stripped of the spirit of religion or i would just think what in the world but i know that god is doing an amazing thing right now and he wants us to reach the people he wants us to reach people he wants us to reach i'm gonna i'm gonna say it y'all can get mad if you want he wants us to reach gay people he wants us to reach uh the, those that don't believe in god atheists he wants us to reach those that uh, are worshiping satan he wants us to reach them now he don't want us to beat them over the head with the bible he don't want us to just throw us the spirit of religion and go to my church and this is my 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 he wants us to reach them simply first by the way we live we reach them by the way that we live our life. Good morning, good morning, everybody. He wants us to reach them by the way we interact with them. They know that we believe in Jesus. They know our standard, but yet we treat them with love and respect no matter what. That's how we reach the souls. And we must stop thinking that everything is centered around that building we call the church. When we know the church is me, the church is you. Amen. And God is doing a new thing. Now, they say God don't change. Well, I remember in the Bible from what we've seen and what we read that it was a whole nother atmosphere. Things were different. God never changed, but God does change how we reach the people because the people change. We're in a new dispensation of time. Doesn't mean we change our morals and standards. Doesn't mean we go against the word, but we got to reach them right where they're at. And that means in your driveway, that means in the Walmart, that means everywhere. But once again, we're holding ourselves with a standard. We're holding ourselves as people of God, not acting up, not causing a spectacle. We want to draw them. What in the world? Yesterday, I was doing a live right out there about, uh, by the tree, not too far from here. And I was just doing my thing. And people were coming by listening. And I told the children, I said, you see that? I didn't realize it until I went back. And I said, you see, that's how we reach them. We're reaching them. They may be heard something that can bless them. They may be heard something that will begin to break something down in their heart. Because how many know right now there's so many hurt and angry people because of something that happened to them in the past. And we must reach them with the love of God to let them know that there are people. There are people who, who love Jesus. There are people who are not looking at their outside. There are not people who are looking at their lifestyle. It doesn't mean that we're agreeing with it, but we're showing the love of Jesus and we're reeling them in to give them to Jesus so that Jesus can clean them up. Come on now. I don't. It's amazing what God does when God wants to. But again, don't spread yourself too thin that you can't be effective yeah it works all together everything i'm saying you 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 you're messed up you're hiding and crying you're so disgusted you can help everybody else but can't even begin to help yourself women we are not i know we say it and i've said it but we really aren't super women 
We're women depending on a super God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I like that. We're women that are depending on a super God to do supernatural things. See, it's okay to use that word super. But we have to say no. We have to just, you know, be able to say, you know, I need to do this and this and this. And maybe that has to wait. Yes, it just takes one word from God. Amen, amen. So don't spread yourself too thin to where, number one, you can't enjoy life. God did not mean for us not to enjoy life. And I'm just walking in that right now. We must be able to enjoy the life that God gave us, which means working on that balance, which I just talked about. So again, right here in the driveway, the Lord is saying, don't spread yourself too thin. Make sure you're able to say no. And sometimes if we go to him and ask him, is this something I should do? He'll already tell you no. Yeah, that's why we're not superwoman. We're just women depending on a super God to do supernatural things through us. I like that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That Again, I'm going to say that because that blessed me. We're not super women. We're just women depending on a super God to do supernatural things through us and in us. Amen. So this morning, I'm getting ready to get on off of here because one thing I know is we have, you know, things that we're doing and we don't want to waste anyone's time. But I want to encourage you right here from the driveway to just go throughout your week and see where you can say no. See where you can say not right now. See where you can say that can wait, but this takes top priority. And then again, women, our minds. Our hormones, our everything will begin to balance out because we're saying yes to what we need to say yes to, know what we need to say no to, and this will wait what can wait to another time. So again, I say right here from in the driveway that God is doing some amazing, amazing things. I love you. Be encouraged and know that um, you are a, a woman depending on a super God to do supernatural things in you and through you. So I love you. Have an awesome week. I don't know when I pop on again. I just listen to Abba and I go, but I do know that next Monday I will be right back here within the driveway with another encouraging word that could possibly help you throughout your week. God bless you. Be encouraged, but most of all, allow the God of all creation to make you whole. Hi, I'm going to play it one more time because I just love this little jingle. I love the little intro. I'm sorry. Y'all, I want y'all to sing it too. Here we go. We thank you, God, for this day. We thank you for your amazing grace. In the driveway. In the driveway. Where we at? Where we at? In the driveway. Hey. From Ramonda Moore Brown. That's me. I love me. We got to love ourselves. Amen. You too. Have a great day. I love you guys. Yeah.